Hey traders, welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. Today is Thursday, December 3rd, and in today's video, we're going to discuss the Valens Corp, uh, the Valens Company cannabis stock. So this was requested on YouTube, and I thought I'd do a quick video and some coverage on it. So we'll take a look at the daily chart here. So you can see that we are forming, we were in a daily downtrend with a lower high and lower low with a support established at 167. And we did bounce, but this is all coming off the high. So we need to form a daily uptrend. You can see this move is all off of the low. So we have the low at 167, the high at 203. We also have resistance at 205. So in my opinion, we need to get above 205 now to be confident that that is seeing daily continuation and to be confident that the daily trend change has occurred. And if we do break to a higher high, compared to 205, then we'll have a new daily higher low established at 179. And you can see here, it could be a potential inverse head and shoulders formation here as well on the daily time frame. Taking a look at the weekly. So the weekly is above the 10 week moving average, which is a bullish sign. The MACD and the stochastic are also crossing bullish. Well, they are already uh, cross bullish. So that's a good sign in terms of positive momentum and taking a look at the daily moving averages. So we are looking to potentially top out here at EMA 100, or sorry, the DMA 100. So that's at 192, we're currently at 187. We also have the 50 day moving average down at 172. A lot of names in the cannabis sector in Canada have golden crosses forming, but you can see that we're a long ways away from a golden cross on the balance company, but other than that, that's pretty much where we stand. We, if we can get over 100, we have the next 200-day uh, moving average at 222. And taking a look at the weekly moving averages, we do have the 200 weekly moving average at 218 as well. So I would expect some resistance there as well, but could be a weekly bull flag at this point. Let's just take a look here over on trading view. So on the weekly chart, you can see here uh, this is coming off the low. So we'll just take our Fibonacci retracement tool. And we might have seen a little bit too much of a pullback. So likely too much of a pullback now to be considered a bull flag on the weekly. But we are looking to change the weekly trend as well. So we have the low, the high, the higher low at 167. So again, if we break above 205, that confirms a daily and a weekly uptrend. We also have EMA 26 acting as resistance, which it has been for a very long time. We haven't closed above it since, since back in, wow, in February. So that's a very notable resistance. If we close the week out above EMA 26, I would say that's the go signal to go long on the stock. We did have increasing volume there as well. Let's just take a look at the monthly. Monthly still in a monthly downtrend. So as we know, a lot of the Canadian names are in monthly uptrends, like Canopy, for example. Obviously, balance is lagging a little bit, still in a monthly downtrend at this point. So first, we'll start with the daily, then the weekly, then we'll look at the monthly. Taking a look at the four-hour here, so you can see we had a fairly significant pullback from resistance there at 203, and we're pulling back, looking to establish a four-hour higher low. The hourly trend has yet to be changed in favor of the bulls. So we have a higher low forming here now. So we need to get over the 192 to confirm an hourly uptrend. So that's pretty much where we stand. We are looking to cross the EMAs bearish here on the five minute. And could be looking like it's happening on the 15 minute here as well. So that's pretty much where we stand on balance. I'd like to see us close the week out above 178. So if we can close the week above 178, I would say that's extremely bullish. And I'd like to see us get it over 192 as well here on the daily to be confident that the daily trend change could, could occur. So if we're going to be expecting daily trend changes and, day, and weekly trend changes, then we need to get over these moving averages and we need to close the week out above this 10 week moving average in my opinion. So that's where we stand on balance. Hope you found this information valuable and let me know in the comments below if there's any other tickers that you'd like covered. Thanks again for joining us on the pursuit of wealth and we'll see you on the next video.